Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Zealot. Zealot's real name is Lady Zana, and she also goes by the alias Lucy Blaze. She made her debut in Image Comics in Wildcats issue number one in August of 1992. And she's also one of these unique characters that has been acquired by DC Comics. And with DC, she made her debut in Deathstroke issue number nine. Now, Zealot is a master in weaponry and hand-to-hand -hand combat and has displayed a low level of superhuman strength. Like her former mate, Lord Majestros, also known as Mr. Majestic, she is a Carabum High Lord gifted with extremely long life, superhuman constitution, stamina, and durability. She was also taught in the ways of dark magic by a powerful witch named Tapestry, which granted her godlike mystical abilities that put her on par with her former mistress who enslaved her. Despite having this power, it is noted that she willingly cast them aside twice due to this power's corrupting nature. Zealot was born on a planet named Kara, but her and her daughter Kanisha were stranded on Earth thousands of years ago when their explorer ship crash landed after a battle with a Daemonite warship. Zealot barely survived thanks to her lover, Stratos, who put her in an escape pod. She and the other survivors were scattered, forced to hide themselves amongst the human population. Their enemies had likewise been forced down, and though less humanoid, the Daemonites used their powers of possession and shape-shifting to blend in too. For the next few millennia, a secret war raged, with the Caribum defending the vulnerable and oblivious humans from their would-be conquerors. Zana took the name Zealot when she formed a sisterhood of warriors known as the Coda on Earth. She fought alongside with them for many years, even leading the group for a long time. However, an incident occurred in Troy, presumably during the Trojan War, which caused her to be branded a traitor and expelled from the Order. She arranged for the Coda to help the Greeks conquer Troy in exchange for 99 female babies to be raised as New Coda. She helped Ulysses conceive the Trojan horse and station Coda warriors inside of it. But during the fight, she decided that the killing of all the unarmed women and children of Troy was going too far. So she saved the life of the royal family. In doing so, it was decided by her fellow Coda that she had betrayed the precepts of their order. She was then engaged in combat by her closest friend, Artemis, who she beat but refused to kill. This was considered by Artemis to be a mortal insult. The two violations of Coda precepts made her a lifetime enemy of the Coda. And this is significant because they are nearly immortal beings. After this event is when Zealot spent a century serving the witch known as Tapestry. She did this as payment for Tapestry saving her daughter Kanisha's life after having been poisoned. During this period, Tapestry tried to brainwash Zealot to her way of thinking. But although Zealot was changed by her time working for the witch, she managed to retain her true self inside. During her stay with Tapestry, though, Zealot became a proficient wielder of magics. The magics taught, though, were dark magic and soul corrupting. Because of this, Zealot swore to never use it again, but had to break her promise when she battled Tapestry many years after her original servitude. For a period in the 20th century, Zealot lived in America and went by the name Lucy Blaze. During this time, she worked for the U.S. government and went on to become a member of the ill-fated Team One with fellow Caribbean Mr. Majestic and Lord Imp. After an affair with John Colt, Zealot became pregnant. And not wishing for the child to become involved in the Caribbean Daemonite War, she gave the child away to a human couple living in Siberia. During an adventure many years later, the psychic oracle Providence told Zealot that she'd be reunited with her long lost child. Soon after, she meets the Stormwatch hero Winter and is surprised to see his white hair similar to her own and hear his Russian accent. Despite her suspicions, Zealot decides to not tell Winter of her discovery. Years later, Zealot formed a close relationship with Cole Cash, also known as Grifter, and took the unprecedented step of training him, a man, in the ways of the Coda. Later, both of them ended up joining the Wildcats, and she served with them for a number of years, though she also briefly joined Wild Corps during a period when the rest of the Wildcats were believed dead. During a mission with the Wildcats to destroy an Irish village full of genetically engineered soldiers created with Daemonite technology, she and Grifter found a group of kids hiding in a basement. The two of them tried to get the kids to a safe place before they could blow up the village, but Zealot was shot while protecting the children and was left behind by her teammates, who believed her dead after the explosion. However, it was later revealed that she wasn't dead because she had been targeted by several Coda factions. It was during this time that Zealot found Grifter in a bar. He was used to having one night stands with women similar to her, and he was too drunk to realize she just wasn't a lookalike. At one point, Zealot was captured and sentenced to death by Earth's Coda sisterhood, but while she was captured and tortured to near death multiple times, it was her old friend Grifter and his ragtag group of warriors that later came to her rescue. 
Once more on the loose, she had to team up alongside Mr. Majestic yet again to fight an evil plot from the Shapers Guild. It was during this battle that Zealot's mother, Lady Harmony, was killed. And shortly after this, Savant was told that her true parents were Zealot and Majestros. Zealot then teamed up with many former Wildcats members such as Grifter and Majestic to fight Zealot's longtime rival, Nemesis. Now, due to her powers and abilities and her influence on the Image and DC Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Zealot a rating of 7, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.